Every year, more than 3.5 million people die of skin cancer. Skin cancer is also known as melanoma. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer in the course of their lifetime, and one person dies of melanoma every 57 minutes. This is a really good example of almost getting skin cancer. The sun's UV rays are really hot. If exposed to the sun, it's the first step to getting sunburn. To protect yourself from the sun, you need some sort of protection. So I recommend wearing a sun hat that shades your face and sunscreen that protects your skin from the sun and the UV rays. If you ever want to help someone in need, you can donate to the Starship Foundation or the Cancer Society. One of the first signs of cancer is a cancer mole. If you see one in your body that looks like cancer, you should go see a doctor. Now it's time for a cancer trivia. Did you know that there are over 100 types of cancer that can affect any part of the body? 2008, 7.5 million people died of cancer. That is 13% of all deaths that occurred that year. 70% of all cancer deaths occur in poverty-stricken countries. Tobacco kills 22% of all cancer deaths. Again, and let's see what he thinks about the sun. Uh, I think that the sun is good and bad because good side is that you can get an awesome tan like this. And um, bad side is that you can get sunburn that could lead to skin cancer. Yeah, suck it. Okay, that's what Keegan thinks about the sun. And today I'm going to go through the school and see what other kids think about wearing sunblock and wearing a sun hat. And here I've got Kaylee with me and today she's going to be telling me the importance of wearing a sun hat and sunblock. So Kaylee, what do you think will happen if you do not wear sunblock or wear a sun hat? Sunburnt. You get sunburnt. Anything else? Okay, well, I guess that's what Katie thinks about wearing sun hat in the sunburnt. This is Madison from Moon One, and today I'm going to be asking her the same question um, why she thinks that we should wear sunblock in a sun hat. So, Madison, why do you think we should wear sunblock in a sun hat? So we don't get burnt and we should wear sun hat is because it protects our head so we don't itch and our parents think that we're going nuts. <laughs> well, that's really cool. So that's what um, Madison thinks. Can I get a high five? Yeah. yeah. So kids, remember to put your hat on and slip, slop, slap and rap with some sunscreen. Okay, so this is Izzy and she went to Samoa and she found out the hard way of not wearing sunblock and a sun hat. So Izzy, what actually happened? Well, I was swimming in the sea and I didn't wear any sunblock and I ended up getting really badly sunburnt, which it blistered and it wasn't exactly the nicest. Okay, so that's what happens if you do not wear sunblock and a sun hat. Um, so, um, so kids watching... <laughs> Watching this, I would wear some lock in a sun hat if you don't want that to happen. So goodbye. <laughs>